Well, Malaysian officials have now confirmed that the Boeing Flight 370 that has been missing for the last one week has, was hijacked. The officials have said that investigators who are probing this case are treating hijack as the most probable theory. It isn't conclusive, however. The motive behind hijacking remains to be established. It's not yet clear where the plane or the wreckage is. Arthur Khan is now joining us on the phone line from Kuala Lumpur with the latest. Uh, Arthur, what more are the Malaysian authorities saying right now? This is perhaps the first time that officially they have talked about hijack in this particular case. Well, that's right. The indications are not good. We know that uh, since yesterday, uh, the transport minister has not ruled out the uh, possibility of hijack. And what we're learning now is that another half hour's time, the Prime Minister Najib is uh, going to hold a press conference in which he's going to make a very important announcement. We also know that uh, since the time uh, the ping was discovered by the U.S. flight, uh, uh, there was no justification. And even after the transponders were switched off, uh, the plane continued to, uh, to fly for about uh, three to four hours. So that gives suspicion that the, 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 the plane was hijacked. And today there are indications that uh, the Malaysian government is focusing on this story now. Well, it's been a week since that jet uh, went missing. Uh, just also take us through the search operation that is currently on, as we know, in India's backyard. Just a few kilometers of uh, India's coastline, we know there are uh, ships that are currently scurrying the sea to find possible wreckage. Well, that's right. India is playing a significant role uh, in the search operations in the Indian Ocean. And as the search operations are uh, being extended, what we are learning is that the probe into uh, the hijack has narrowed down. And as I was telling you that we also have uh, now information that the pilot of this aircraft uh, uh, captain uh, uh, had posted some of his pictures on Facebook which had uh, uh, aviation simulator at his resi residence. So that is striking and strange that why would a pilot have a simulator at his residence? So pictures were posted out. Uh, uh, the Malaysian government was questioned on this, but then there was no satisfactory reply. The search operations uh, are continuing. There are 14, one, four countries which are involved in this massive exercise. 40, more than 40 naval ships and aircraft have been uh, commissioned to carry out uh, this exercise. Well, this is the first time that Malaysian investigators have concluded that Flight 370, which has been missing for seven days now, was hijacked. Arthur Khan will be getting us all the latest updates from Kuala Lumpur. Thank you very much for joining us for now.